Today, there are more than 143 governments participating in 13 regional seas programmes established under the auspices of UNEP. So the regional seas conventions and action plans serve two main objectives. Firstly, they help as a regional platform for implementing global agreements, initiatives and programmes at the regional level and provide a vehicle and mechanism for doing so. But they also bring together regional programmes and initiatives to bring together coordination for regional actors, governments and other stakeholders at the regional level. They're unique because they bring together global and local actors at the regional level and they bring together governments and other stakeholders in that regional focused way. So the regional seas programmes function through the development and implementation of an action plan. And in many cases, the action plan is underpinned by a legal framework in the form of a convention and associated protocols on particular issues. In many cases, the approach taken by regional seas is very similar across the different 18 regional seas, but each has a very tailored approach to its unique particular regional circumstances. Regional seas programmes have increasingly worked in partnership with other actors particularly governments, of course, who form the backbone of the regional seas conventions, but also other actors, such as intergovernmental organisations, such as the Global Programme of Action, addressing land-based sources of pollution and other activities on land affecting the marine environment, working with the International Maritime Organisation, the Intergovernmental Oceanographic Commission, and other partners, increasingly more recently, with the private sector. Over these last 40 years, the Regional Seas Programme have enhanced transboundary cooperation at the regional level to address issues at the regional scale. They have addressed issues of pollution, shedding light on the increasing challenge of marine litter, and most recently on the challenge of microplastics in the marine and coastal environment. And they have designated new networks of marine protected areas at the regional level. I've mentioned the issue of microplastics as well, being of growing concern. And so the role of regional seas is important as ever. However, regional seas face some challenges in adapting to the times and being fit for purpose in the future. Ensuring that the regional seas programmes have a strong scientific basis is incredibly important and linking the science to the policy at regional level to make sure that policies and actions at regional level are based on the best available science. So regional seas conventions and action plans provide a platform co for cooperation at regional level both within regions and between regions. And such cooperation involves joint, involves joint planning, joint identification of resources, joint implementation, and the sharing of experiences and lessons learned within and between regions. UNEP has established a knowledge exchange mechanism to allow the exchange of that such information between regions and between regional seas programs. And importantly, increasingly with the global multilateral environmental agreements.